Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup look. I don't wear makeup every single day, so this is just what I would wear if I was going to wear makeup. Um, I've already done my eyebrows, as you can tell. I used my Revlon Brow Fantasy. Um, I like this because I like having a darker eyebrow, that's why. I mean, my hair's quite blonde, but I like drawing on my eyebrows a bit darker. So, at the minute, I need to get my eyebrows done, but the woman that I normally go to see is on maternity leave, so I'm just waiting for her to come back and I just set my eyebrows with the other side. That's all I use on my eyebrows. Um, I also have moisturised my face and I have used my Charlotte Tilbury cream. I love this stuff, it feels amazing on your face. In this palette for foundation, oh you can see my ring light yeah, and all the fingerprints. Um, I haven't used this for foundation before. I've only ever used it for contour and highlight but I thought I would give it a go using it for foundation so we'll see how this goes um i have really bad skin at the minute don't know why don't know what's going on but my spots i think it's hormones but i've just got spots all over my face so yeah let's just ignore that and try and cover them up as best as possible with this I filmed a video um, like this last week, but I filmed the whole thing and um, didn't have the microphone turned on the whole time. So, yeah, got to get used to that one, turning it on. And I told myself as well, make sure you plug it in. So I plugged it in and just didn't turn it on. I don't know why. Didn't cross my mind. Not sure if I like this as a foundation, kind of makes my skin look a bit like you can just see all the texture in my skin. Going in with my um, shade Fair One in Lasting Perfection from Collection, and I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. I'm also going to take a bit of that on the back of my hand um, and use it on my spots. So difficult to cover up these spots. Well, it's so difficult for me. I mean, other people are probably better at it than me, but I find it rather difficult. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier powder. Oh, put it down, don't drop it. My camera just cut out, but I have, I have? I have just finished powdering and I'm going to be using my um, Charlotte Tilbury palette, this one. I'm just going to take it on this brush and it is a Real Techniques brush even though it's a bit bent. I think I need to get a new one. It's the sculpting brush. I'm just going to pop that on my cheek. Oh, I need a different mirror. That one's a bit foggy. Okay. So I forgot to mention that I'm just putting some blush on 
Um, my foundation's just making my powders look a bit muddy, so I don't think I'll be using that again. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking um, my Naked palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Naked. And I'm just going to run that down the sides of my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting some highlighter on. I'm going to be using the same Charlotte Tilbury palette. And, and I'm just going to be using this brush by Revolution. This one. Put a bit of that on. this brush and I'm going to be applying book from the Naked palette all over my eyelid. Now I'm taking my uh, Maybelline New York liquid eyeliner, this one. I'm going to be applying um, my Clarins Wonder Perfect Mascara. Taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and going over what I already have on. Okay, so I've done both of my eyes. Put a bit of mascara on the bottom of my eyelashes as well. Okay, so I've finished my eyes. I have put mascara on the bottom of my eyelashes. I'll be right back when I've cleaned off the mess. I'm now going in with my MAC Spice Lip Liner and outlining my lips. Now I'm taking my Velvet Teddy MAC lipstick. You just use a little bit of concealer to go over my lipstick. I'm just going to dab it on because I don't want it to be as dark as it is. So this is my finished look, if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe and please leave any questions or requests down below in the comments and anything really that you want to see in future videos just please let me know and I'll see you in my next video, bye!